All right, guys, so today I want to show you how to set up multi bindings with SimNexus. This is the third part of probably six videos in which I will show you all trigger features of SimNexus. In the previous part, you have learned how to set up a non linear trigger activation. If you haven't watched it yet, then you can find a link to it in the video description. Multi bindings allow you to place several actions onto your controller trigger. You can choose from two options. The first one is to bind several different actions onto your trigger, such as shooting and reloading. The second one is to bind one and the same action several times onto the trigger, to for example have your weapon shoot more than once when you press the trigger. But before we head into the setup guide, let's first cover how the Nexus triggers operate. This will be necessary to understand the setup process of today's video. It will also help you to understand the other 5 trigger videos. And by the way, if you have watched any of the other 5 videos already, then you can skip this step, as you will have already seen it. Nexus differentiates between two trigger states. The first one is the trigger press percentage. This is the distance you physically press the trigger into the controller. It is 0% when you don't press the trigger and 100% if you fully bottom it out. There are of course also values in between, such as these two. The second trigger state is the trigger output percentage. This is the percentage value that the controller will send to the console or PC. On a normal controller, both states will always have the same percentage. So if you press the trigger to the 50% mark, then your controller will send a 50% output to the console or PC. And with Nexus, you have the option to fully customize that. Nexus for example allows you to send a 20% trigger output to the console or PC, when in reality the trigger is physically pressed to the 50% mark. Or you can have a 100% trigger output when the trigger is physically pressed by 1%. This is what you call a hair trigger, which I have showed you in the first part of this series. Now to set up today's feature, just go into the button bindings of your Nexus config. If your config isn't running on the expert mode yet, then you will have to activate it at the bottom of your config. After that, swipe three times to the right to enter the button bindings. Start by adding a new binding to the right trigger. You do that by clicking onto the corresponding button picture. And after that, click into the new binding. A normal multi-bind is quite easy to do. All you have to do is to select several buttons at the bottom. These will then all be executed at the same time when you press the trigger. And you can of course do the same with any other button of the Nexus as well. The trigger allows you to do a lot more though. Let's remove the bindings again and only select the right trigger. The slider above has to be set to 0%. This is the output percentage I was talking about earlier. The threshold percentage at the top is the trigger press percentage. Keep it at 1%, so don't change it. After that, leave this menu and create a new binding by clicking into the picture again. Now load its binding menu again and set the press percentage to 33. After that, select the right trigger again and change the output percentage to 80. You can now close this menu again and create a new binding. Again, open its menu and set the press percentage to 66. Once it is done, pick the right trigger at the bottom again and set the slider to 0%. We will now do that one more time, so close this menu and create a new binding. Just like before, open its menu again and set the press percentage to 100%. Select the right trigger again and move the slider to the 80% mark. The setup is now complete and you can close this window. What we have done now is the following. Most weapons will start to shoot when the output percentage reaches at least 60%. This is why we have chosen 80%. We could have of course also went with 100%. Now when I start to press my Nexus trigger, each binding will be activated one after another. The first bind will ensure that the output percentage will start at 0%. This is only necessary in very specific scenarios and I could actually delete this bind and the setup would still work. 
When we reach the second binding, the weapon will shoot for the first time. The third binding will reset the output percentage, so the game will think that we have released the trigger again. And the fourth binding will shoot the weapon a second time. So what we have created here is a double fire trigger. When we fully bottom out the trigger, the weapon in the game will shoot two times. This is what you can see on the right side. The animated controller lets you see how I slowly press the trigger. You can of course also use this concept to realize other setups. What you can do for example is to shoot your weapon on a light trigger press and when you fully bottom it out you will start to reload your weapon. Or you can do a quick scope setup. When you lightly press the trigger you will go into the ADS mode and when you fully press it you will shoot your weapon. You can save your progress now and exit your config. In the next episode I will show you how to set up the quick pull feature. So guys, if you enjoyed the video hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus we also have a nice little discord to discuss sim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.